Welcome back to Zoom TV. You're just in time for the very first Celebrity Hitchhiker for 2012, powered by Sander Finance in the John Hughes Zoom Mobile. Today's celebrity is a very big man. He should be very easy to find. He is Nathan Sharp, the captain of the Western Force. And here he is, Mr. Nathan Sharp. How are you, buddy? Fantastic, Look like you need a lift and a little drink of water. Let's do it, I love one. Go up in the back, answer my questions. I'll give you a lift anywhere you want to go. Nate, thanks for getting in the back of the uh, Zoom mobile. No problems, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Let's push on. It's a little bit scary in the white van. Now, mate, where did your career start? You've been at the Western Force for a while, but where, where did it start? Yeah, this is the seventh year at the, at the Western Force, but started way back in Wagga Wagga. So I started playing Aussie Rules, so I was about 12, which uh, not many people know about. Uh, I, I like to keep that quiet. <laughs> uh, then moved to, moved to Queensland and played rugby union. So I finished school, went to university, and at that stage it went professional and became an actual career path to, to follow. So. That's how it started. I played for eight years for Queensland and uh, coming into my seventh for the Force. Now moving over to Perth with the Western Force, you were here when it obviously started. Yep. Was it a big challenge to get people to actually take it on board because we're a big AFL people over here? Oh look, it was bloody exciting coming across for us to be part of that startup of a fourth team was really exciting and that was a big motivation for me. But coming here, as you say, an AFL stronghold, we came over here and we received tremendous support right from the start. We've got 30 or 40,000 really strong supporters and, and I'll tell you what, they're the best crowd in Australian rugby by miles. What would be the path to get to where you are? I think these days now, particularly guys that have got any sort of ability, are identified pretty early. They get that pathway put through schools, through club, and then finally through their underage state teams and, and the like. The one thing I'd say to those guys is, it is such a full-on thing these days, and I think that the more that they can enjoy it whilst they're young, um, that's going to lead them into a much better state of mind uh, once it does turn professional for them. Now, mate, what was your biggest career highlight? For me as a team, every time we've beaten South Africa in South Africa, it's been a, it's been a pretty big game, and we've always enjoyed that, those wins. But probably at the World Cup, I managed to play um, 100th Test for Australia, and that yeah. was that was a pretty exciting time. So. You know, that, that, that's something that uh, individually I'm very proud of and, and whilst I'm still going, it won't, it won't pay too much attention but certainly look, look back uh, once I've hung the boots up and, and uh, be pretty proud of that achievement. Time for the Ascender Finance Fast Five Let's question. Do it. Let's okay. do it. First car you ever owned? 1980 Blue Holden Ute called the Duke. Um, <laughs> I picked it up, bought it, probably didn't do enough due diligence, drove around my first roundabout. My mate nearly fell out the passenger side door as it just swung open. So. Uh, it wasn't the safest of cars, but it was a fantastic looking thing. Now Nathan, in your opinion, what's the best car currently available on the street? I'd have to say the Volvo XC90 at the moment. Oh really? Yeah. In your opinion, the worst car on the streets today? I think anything that's um, not elevated. I've really struggled getting sedans, so um, I think you mentioned before, very hard to get into a Mini Cooper or something like that. What is the car you currently drive, and why? Amazingly, it's a Volvo XC90. <laughs> <laughs> Volvo are great friends of us uh, here at the Force. Now Nathan, this is a hard question, because you're a big fella. What is your biggest fear? I think ghosts. They terrify me. Uh, I haven't actually seen one uh, or experienced it yet, but if I ever get in a haunted house, I'll be out of there in three seconds flat, I can guarantee you. <laughs> Mate, thanks very much for coming on the show. No I understand problem. your fear, but I would have been more scared of cauliflower ears. Yeah. They're pretty scary looking. I've avoided that so far. I oh, know, you've done really well. Mm, thanks, mate. It's because of the bald head. Mm. Now, if you want to know anything about today's show, go to zoomtv.com.au. And while you're there, download our free iPhone app because we're over. We're done for the week. Nathan and I are going to go and get something to eat and get out of this van. It's so hot. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.